This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So Adrian Granados is putting in serious work and he looks like he really, really wants to win this fight against Adrian Broner next week. By the way, I'm doing this uh, video on my phone in the car right now, so that background noise you guys hear, that's what it is. But anyway, you know, I wanted to um, talk about this because Adrian Granados is in a situation right now where he is the Cinderella man. And these are the type of fights that I really like in the sport of boxing. He has a great story. He's an underdog. He just beat, he pulled, you know, he pulled off a, a big upset when he beat the undefeated, the master, or a young master, Amir Imam. And now he's going into Adrian Brona's backyard to pull off what is perceived as mission impossible. And that's of course, beating the problem, Adrian Broner. This fight should be very entertaining. I really don't see this fight going 12 rounds. Now, and I'm aware that the majority of Adrian Broner's fights, they go to distance, especially since he moved up in weight. But because of the styles in this fight, you have a classic puncher, a brawler versus a boxer puncher. That gives us a very good chance of seeing a knockout in this fight. So with that being said, once again, I look forward to seeing the fight. It's next weekend in Cincinnati, Ohio. And, you know, whoever wins this fight, it's an impressive win. This is not an easy fight for Adrian Broner, and it's certainly not an easy fight for Adrian Granados. So that's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Hi, you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Woo! <laughs> hey. <Yeah. laughs>